hello guys how are you doing all thank you so much for stopping by on my channel you are all welcome to today's edition of vlogmas and i just thought that it would be a nice idea to touch to show you guys how to make this sweet and savory northern snack called algaki i felt like every day during christmas it is chin chin and chicken and meat chin chin why not do something different so i'll teach you how to make algaki today okay algaki is made from wheat and it's a very very big deal the condition within which the wheat is made so clean it up as much as you can wash it and then dry it up and then right under the sun pick out any impurity as you can see in this video i'm being very meticulous i don't want even one tiny pebble stone whatever it is is not welcome into our algaki because when it enters your mouth you want this very very sweet delicious decadence to just melt into your mouth you don't want to be eating sand the way you feel bad if you're eating nigerian rice and you feel sand inside it that's the way you feel bad if you eat algaki and you meet even one grain of sand so clean it up very very well make sure that there is no sand okay this is a very very important step and do not skip it as soon as you finish that you go to the millers okay this is me taking my own algaki to the millers because i don't trust my blender if your blender is heavy duty and it can grind it why not use your blender but me i'm taking it to masumaka a and i want them to go and um to mill it for me to the consistency i want this type of masumaka a, these people you see them all over nigeria so tell them that you want them to order it for you when you are ordering something it is in between a flour and with something like maize wheat but with wheat just tell them that you want to order it let it not be too soft and let it not be be coarse you know that kind of thing this is the consistency we are looking for with this consistency you are good to go so when you get back home you prep all your ingredients together apart from the wheat you are going to be needing sugar we're going to be needing sugar we're going to be needing nutmeg yeast and a little baking powder and then lemon what we need to do yeah, is so like this as soon as you add these ingredients you mix them all together and then you add water very ever so gently very gently so we want to mix everything into a smooth piece okay but don't add the water too much to the point where it becomes too um what's the expression i want to use now let it not be too watery we want a smooth sticky dough it's going to become doughy yes when it gets to that consistency where it is doughy you let it rest for a little while so you can see how i'm adding the water in batches because i don't want it to become too much at the same time okay after you knead for a while this is the consistency we're looking for so once that happens you just clean it close it and allow it to settle for a little while it's going to become a sticky and smooth dough once it gets this way allow it to rise a little bit after 30 minutes this is um what we're looking for this is the consistency we're looking for it would have i think what happened is that the gluten in it has activated so it's gummier than it was at the beginning even though it did not really rise like that and the intent wasn't really to make it rise it was to allow the gluten to activate so let me show you something special about this right now good so now let me show you how you are going to make it into the classic algaki shape that you know just carry a little of it and then of your dough then make it into this lump continue to stretch it like this you'll notice that it has become very stretchy and that's because the gluten has activated i don't know if you are seeing this very well but honestly speaking what i can say is that guys kudos to people who are food vloggers they are really really trying god will bless them as they make it in life honestly so when you make it into this long strip then you curve it into two you curve it into two like this and you cross it you take one end bring it up and take the other end and take it to the back and that is the simplest way you can get this algaki yeah shape 
honestly speaking so you'll do it like this until you get all oh, that one there is very very beautiful let me show it to you again you just cut it into a lump okay leave it roll it like this then begin to play with it so to speak until you get this lump and then it begins to stretch and goes straight but i don't think there's any law that says it is only like this that it's going to do it's just that this is the classic shape with which it is made and if you can make it any other way feel free to make it another way or you feel like there's another shape that that appeals to you why not yeah so this is what i'm talking about they look like this and you will let them sit together with each other for a few minutes i want to give them 15 minutes and after 15 yeah. minutes i will show you what to do next mm. so after letting them sit for 20 minutes you can see how they risen beautifully again so this is the point where we just dip them in vegetable oil guys this is how we want it to look when it is ready it will going to look like this and you will begin to float inside the oil so once it begins to float in the oil and you have fried it consistently on two sides for about 15 minutes uh, no okay so you put on put the algae inside and then you leave it cool okay i'm not going to put all the ones i made because part of the order i made is for a client and he doesn't want sugar in his own he prefers to have it with honey so that one is different but the one for my house you just put it in and then you put out the fire then keep it aside and let it stay for the next six hours we're going to come back by tomorrow and we'll see what has become of this this is the point where we say good morning my neighbors and in the morning this is what we have left uh, Algaki is beautifully done. If you would like to try out this recipe, try it out and let me know. Tag me on any social media that you find me on Facebook as Adela Upfront. Thank you.